What's going on with the truckers? Welcome to the Asian Mind Show. We're chilling today. You know, my man was so cool. I told him my mom watches me on YouTube and that's it. And he was down with that, man. You know, introduce yourself, brother. Uh, JR Slugger. Is that a real name? It is a real name. Because that's a badass <laughs> name, brother. JR Slugger? Yeah. In the house. Uh, before we start talking some trucking, this beautiful truck right here. Can we kind of DOT inspect it and sure. just walk Absolutely. around? Absolutely. Yeah. Where do you want to start? What do you want to look at? Hey, man, let's. You just start pointing and telling people, and we go. Um, shoot, I don't know. I guess it's a it's a 1985 K100 cab over. Uh, when we bought the truck, it actually had a rollback on it, so we ripped the rollback off. It was already pre-stretched. It's all original interior in it, so everything was good there. So it's like no point of ripping it out. Uh, just gutted it, set it on stands, and started from scratch and. Uh, this is all like hand pin or not pin stripe, but I mean it's all hand striping that we put on here Or we even ran like the stripes all the way through the look at that detail Just that way when you look at it, you don't have a white breaking that stripe up or anything um, Yes Like the interior on it. So we ran the stripes everything where they run all the way through the bottom Even the stripes that come up here. They run up through the bottom also there uh, We build all the custom aluminum parts like these accessories here custom step plates door to floor Everything inside we built there also, it's lifetime nut covers. Um, the headliner in that is actually Roadskins built that. So I've never seen one done, that stainless piece. Uh, that's actually six different pieces of stainless all attached together to create one headliner. That's sexy, bro. <laughs> I love it. Everything was this truck, we, we kind of just called it K1. So every emblem, everything on here is like a K1 logo. Uh, we'd have it up on the tractor trailer knobs, uh, even to the point where we put it on the very ends of like our, it's hard to see in here. When you flip the cab, everything works, but just the details in this truck is kind of a big thing with the cab over to me. Um, we stretched it. We wanted to do something different for the stack brackets, so we actually took solid billet 6061 bars, threaded them, and then that is actually what holds the stacks and everything together. It's kind of something different there. Uh, another cool aspect about it, I guess I've never seen it done, but we eliminated the battery boxes on the sides um, so we can slide the tanks all the way up so everything's kind of a clean, sleek look here. And we actually built a box inside here and stuck the batteries down underneath the halo inside the frame. You ever see anyone else have that? I've never seen it done before. This is a one of a kind? Yeah, and this it's a pain in the ass, so that's why I think nobody wanted to do it. And you know, that's why I love to put, though, you know, uh, on my titles sometimes is, you know, I love one of a kind in America. Yeah. And this cab over, I could tell already from so many interviews I've done, is definitely a one of a kind. It's, there's a lot of different little things that we went through on this. Uh, that's great, brother. That's great, man. For people that want to step into a cab over, what you got to do? What's the right uh, way to step in one? For me, since I'm tall, if you're short, you'd have a little hard time with it. But yeah. I just do two steps. Yeah, I can't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little harder for I'm going to be swinging guys. like a monkey over a round. <laughs> Jungle gymming, man. Yeah, right? Okay, let me try. Let me try. All right, let me try. Hey, brother. Mother truckers, we're in the cockpit, man. We're hanging out. <laughs> we're hanging out. You know, let's talk some trucking real quick. Okay. What got you in the game, brother? Uh, basically, my whole family's always trucked. Um, every single one of them, we always haul grain, cattle, uh, stuff like that. Um, so we build all the accessories and stuff. Now, my dad got into that uh, way back in the day, just by accident, and just thought up a, an idea. So he's the first one to ever make a plastic nut cover. So we got into that, so we just, we still truck. We got nine old trucks. Uh, we just keep building old A models, needle noses. Um, I think the old ones are cool, so. You're being too humble right now. Where can people go if they would like some <laughs> of your services? Come on now. Uh, Lifetime Nut Covers. So you just go to lifetimenutcovers.com. You can see any of our products there and uh, go to any of your local chrome shops and you can buy it from them. Just ask for us by name. And if you want something one-off, custom, anything built you need, uh, we'll build you anything. I have people send me stuff on cardboard templates and we'll just build it off of that. No, that's uh, great, brother. That's we also do, uh, so I started No Coast Large Tires a long time ago because we're out of Iowa and it's like, well, you know what? Everybody thought East Coast and West Coast was the big ones out there. Well, we're in the Midwest and we don't have a coast. So I'm like, we'll just name it No Coast Large Cars. And so now we do a truck show every day on, on Labor Day weekend in Britt, Iowa. And we just get What's the day for Labor Day? Uh, I think it's the 5th and 6th in September. 
So right. we usually get about 130 trucks normally. It's usually a good turnout. So. Mother truckers, you get a chance, man. Show this man some love, you know. <laughs> so all these years now, how many years have you been trucking? Shoot. Uh, I got to add here. I got to get my fingers up. Um, Fifteen? 15, 16, somewhere in there? 16 years. Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah, we still do it, run the business and everything. I'll take loads here and there for IMT Transport. I lease my trucks onto them guys. And, uh, they're just they're good to me where if I need to get to a truck show or something or we need to go pick up our own product, we haul loads for them, we haul cranes, utility trucks, anything step deck, flatbed, and haul stuff for them guys. And so you can still go out and go truck show and it still work while you're doing it. Love it, man. 15, 16 years of driving. If you were to sum up driving, trucking to you in a couple words brother what has it been to you uh to me i would say with trucking i enjoy it it's i'm not probably like every other person where you sit in just a plain damn truck i mean i like building old trucks so when you go down the road and somebody sees you uh i mean you take a lot of pride in the old trucks it's a way different way of life or way of driving i guess but it's more fun to me. Every day when you go down the road and somebody gives you a thumbs up, it just it makes you feel good about what you're doing. I love that, brother. And for the people that are thinking about getting into our industry, any tips or advice for them so they can start on the right foot? Uh, don't go too big too fast. Start small and enjoy what you do. I love that, man. I love that. At the end of the day, shout outs to anyone that has helped you get to where you are now, brother. Um, I would say my dad. Uh, my dad or Jeremy Gouge with IMT Transport. I mean, he lets us do all this and go out and take a little pride in your ride and enjoy the stuff. Man, I really appreciate you, brother. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Hey, that's it, man. That's, that's cool, buddy. Is that easy? Yeah. <laughs>